We're learning more uh, about the man with no clothes on whose behavior shut down Times Square during the morning rush hour. Traffic came to a standstill after the man climbed to the top of the TKTS booth and police on the ground and up there with him trying to get him to come down. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live in Times Square with more on what we've learned about this young man. Alice? Dana, we've all seen our share of the unusual here in Times Square, but what makes this particular incident so puzzling is that this man in question, who is acting so erratically, is an established fashion model and college student. The naked man seen here in this video has been identified as 21 year old Crit McLean, a model and college student. This morning around 7 40, emergency services and the hostage negotiation team tried to talk him down off the TKTS booth on 47th and Broadway. McLean could be seen jumping around and dancing. Police say he was shouting about Donald Trump and Mother Earth and was extremely combative. <laughs> then he jumped. So we deployed an airbag thinking he might jump, and at which point we ordered another airbag thinking because it didn't cover the entire area, at which time he jumped into the area um, where it was not covered purposely. He ended up jumping three stories. He broke his arm, was removed to Bellevue. After he hit the sidewalk, it took another 15 minutes and at least six paramedics to hold him down and strap him on the gurney. I've been here for 15 years doing this. I've been here in the same corner. I never see such a thing. I'm just feeling very sorry for him because he's obviously on drugs or having a psychotic episode. A personal website for McLean states he's currently taking a gap year from college. Pictures show his portfolio on the Ford Model Agency site. Bystanders this morning. We're floored. Uh, I've lived in New York all my life, and that's a long time. Um, I've seen crazy things, but not a naked man walking around and then jumping in the middle of the ticket booth, no. It is unclear at this time if drugs were involved. So far, no charges, but police say once he's released from the hospital, he's facing indecent exposure charges. We're live tonight in Times Square. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Alice.